Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Vigita Studio. It's a quick video to share with you that liquid text that we just added to all free starter pack. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, you can download the free starter pack by clicking the link in the description below. Once you've done so, you'll get this zip file. Just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you this folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the installation instruction, the DRFX file, and the font. Please make sure to install all the font, otherwise the title will not work because DaVinci will not know what font to replace it with. So just select all the font and then double click on them to start the installation process. Or you can copy and paste them into your font folder if they're on your Mac or on your Windows computer. But if you already have the free starter pack installed and that's just an update, there is no need to reinstall the font. Just install the TRFX file and that will be good. So once that's done, you can just double click here on the TRFX file. It will prompt open this window. If you already already have the free starter pack installed and that's just an update it will ask you to overwrite and if that's the first time it will ask you to install so just click either one of those and now let's jump inside of DaVinci Resolve all right so once you update the starter pack you can go over to effect then here titles video to studio and then you will find it in the free starter pack in styled text you can then just take the liquid text and drag it here in your timeline if I play it as you can see we have an animation in and an animation out but right now, I'm just dropping a few frames. So just a quick tip is to go over to playback, then here, run the cache and make sure that you select smart. Basically, that's just gonna bring up that bar that's gonna switch from red to blue. And whenever that bar is blue, that means your title has been caching and it will play without dropping any frame. Now let's jump into the inspector and see the functionality that we got for that title. So right now you have the animation length in second that you can choose. So by default right now it's one second, but you can switch that to two, three, four, or five second, uh, depending on how long you want to animation in and animation out to be. You can also choose in between different type of animation in and out. So here you have the animation in drop down, where you can choose none, zoom in, zoom out, pan left, pan right, side up, side down, and fade in. So basically none right here, you will have no animation in, and then you can choose from those different types. For example, here, slide down, you will get a slightly different animation coming from the top to the center of the frame. It's the same thing right here for the animation out. You can choose between the same things. Then here you have the in and out animation curve that you can choose if you know what you're doing. Uh, if you want to choose the style of animation, you can just do that right there by selecting an expo or, for example, an elastic or bounce curve. Then here we have a few parameters like this affecting the overall continuous animation of the liquid text. So we have first the wave type. So as you can see by default, it's only horizontal, which makes the text just wiggle horizontally, then you can choose for vertical. So right now it's gonna do the same thing, but vertically, or you can select both to have both at the same time. Then here, there is three parameters that are quite important. You get the scale, the strength, and the speed. That's what's gonna allow you to really customize the look of that effect. So here, the scale and the strength are acting quite similarly, basically just on the overall like strength and power of that effect. So here, if I'm just reducing that, as you can see, we can read the text a bit more. So I will generally suggest to reduce those rather than increasing it because uh, it's just like less is more, in my opinion, that will just tend to look better. Same here with the speed, I will probably just decrease it a little bit because otherwise that might be a bit too fast. And at any moment, if you're not happy with a parameter, you can just reset them to default by double clicking on them. But right now, I'm just gonna reduce the scale by quite a bit and I'm gonna do uh, the same thing here with the strength and with the speed. But basically, play around with it and see what fits your eyes better and what you prefer. So then you have three textiles that you can choose from. You get solid, image, and gradient. So let's start with text. It's the usual. You can, you know, change the text, change the color, uh, change the overall appearance. You can add an outline, etc. And then we have image, which is basically right here. You can upload the image of your choice. So here I'm just gonna bring an image in and it's basically gonna fill up the text. But right now it's not showing up because we still have solid selected. Just gonna switch here to image. And as you can see, it just basically put the image inside of each letter actually. And then the third one is right here, gradient, and it will just basically put in a gradient that you can then adjust uh, right here under text as well. Then another few parameters that you can play around with is here the shadow. 
So right now we might not be able to see much because we don't have any background. So I'm just going to bring the same image just to create a background right here and to demonstrate. Then here, if we're going over to shadow, as you can see here, we can create a shadow behind our text to help our text pop a little bit more from the background. You can play around with the shadow strengths. You can play around with the angle of that shadow. You can play around with the drop distance as well um, and the blur. Then the next drop down, we have the glow. So here we can just increase a bit the threshold and we can increase the gain and it's just going to affect our text and bring a little bit of that glow right there. We can play around with the glow size, which is basically going to increase the overall size of that glow, basically the spread on the screen. And then the blend is going to be the overall strength and opacity of that effect. So you can just reduce it here if you want it to be a bit less intense. Then we have the perspective, which basically going to allow you to adjust the different X, Y, and Z axis um, and to make it a bit more 3D, for example. So here we can just play around with that. So it really allows you to just put the place uh, literally wherever you want on screen and it can just help you to give it a bit more of a 3D look, especially with the shadow and the glow. Uh, it can give another dimension to the title. And then the last drop down is right now background so you can just use that to create even more separation between your title and the footage so here by default the opacity is at zero but we can increase that and it's just gonna bring here a solid as you can see behind the title so that just help um, your title just pop up a little bit more from the background there is a lot you can do with that you can play around with the colors the position you can create some vignetting by inverting uh, and reducing here the width and the height, playing around with the soft edge um, and the overall border width. And it can help you to just frame again your title in different ways. And that's pretty much it. Hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in a comment what kind of title we should create next. And thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videodetastudio.com.